Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in and we're ready to kick off with some more wild roulette action today on the channel. So I hope you're looking forward to it. Earlier in the week we span the wheel and they spat out this team of six Pokemon for us. We're very fortunate because it's an extremely strong team. We're going into a new format where we're selecting the restricted separately and the four non-restricted Pokemon in the wheel separately as well. From your nominations of course we have got as well access to our four bonus buttons in today's episode and for the rest of the week so we can activate those at any time that we want we've got our legend maker our randomizer switch up and patreon buttons so i'm not going to activate any of them just yet but we might after one match we might just wait till tomorrow but let me know which button you would like to see activated first Obviously, we can uh, you can check out the buttons down in the description, what they are, what they consist of, and which one you would like to see. But I'm going to sit on this team and give it a chance before we activate those buttons just yet. Very excited, though, to activate those buttons and see what Pokemon we can maybe add to the team to strengthen it. Make it a little bit better at the minute. We haven't really utilized the Ranguru very much, so hopefully we can see a little bit from that. But if not, then maybe that is a Pokemon that we think, hmm... Let's switch it out for something else, as sad as that would be. But on other news as well, we start off the week as a little appreciation and a bit of a thanks from myself to all of you guys for the support. We're holding a giveaway for this lovely I Heart Flinch, Flinch Squad, Flat Peak Cap. So one of you lucky people out there will be able to get your hands on this nice Flat Peak Cap. All you need to do to enter is leave a comment and leave a like on the video. It's that simple. And we will draw only one lucky winner next Monday on the channel so get your get your entries in just leave a comment down below leave a like that's all you need to do so the team as always is down in the description below there is a roll paste poker paste let me know what your thoughts are about it try it out if you do definitely let me know and uh, without further ado the music is on we've got everything set let's get into it guys so I'm looking forward to trying out this team I'm a little bit sad you know I recorded an episode prior to this one and the video file is corrupt, so I'm gonna have I'm having to do this episode again. Let's kick off with league title defense, which is a little bit sad. So the rating is a little bit wonky from what it was. I've I've just had to leave it as it is. It's a real shame because we've had two really good games where I can't really count because they were both wins. Um, but never mind. We'll carry on. The goal to get into 1500 by the end of the week is looking more and more possible. So hopefully that does happen. And we'll get into this first one today. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent. But if it does, it does. There's lots been going on, hasn't there? There's been some more Sword and Shield news. And I keep saying I'm going to do more Sword and Shield content. Now I need to get this out ASAP. So next week at the earliest, I'll get this done. Because otherwise, I'll fall behind. And it'll feel like, well, why is he putting this content out with this three-week-old news? It's pointless. So what I'll do... Get a video out for next week. We'll talk about the stuff that was released yesterday, which is very exciting. And some of the other stuff that I haven't touched upon yet. And dare I do it, touch on hashtag bring back the national decks. And give my opinions on, on that uh, topic as a whole. Because it's, it's an interesting one, so to speak. But I've got my own opinions on it. <laughs> but we'll leave that for another time. We've got Goku, Son Goku, up for our first opponent. So let's hop into team preview. Um, if I can even do it. There we go. So what's the Super Saiyan got for us to start us off with today? We've got Melotic, we've got Whimsicott, Incineroar, Groudon, Xerneas and Landorus. So we've got double ground types on this team with a restricted pairing of Groudon and Xerneas. Very strong restricted pairing in this format as we know. Then we've got the supporting cast from Incineroar, we've got the fake out support, we've got the U-turn support, Intimidate support, we've got some crazy background noise going on. I'm going to have to shut my window in a minute, so I'm sorry about that if it's bleeding over. Whimsicott, speed control there, we've got to watch out for the Melotic, obviously, with Snarl particularly on our side of the field because of that competitive ability there. Right, what are we going to do? It's obviously got speed control as well, uh, I would imagine. I'm going to lead off with Perugly. Do we go with our Xerneas, though? Hmm... Because, hmm, hmm, not too sure, not too sure. Because the Whimsical kind of puts me off going for the, the Z, the Z Geomancy because of the Encore there. We don't really have too many other ways to deal with Whimsical. I mean, Yvelto with Oblivion Wing, of course, is a nice way to get around it. Um, 
kind of tough though, isn't it? I've got to make a decision. Got to make a decision. Uh, I'll go Ivaltal. I'll go Xerneas, and I'm gonna bring Mega Binet to this one. Let's get into it. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna literally run and close this window because it, feel, it sounds like. It always happens, it always happens. It sounds like the neighbors have gardeners in and there's some heavy duty machinery going on in the background. It always happens. I, I, it's a hot day, come into the studio to record. I open the window, I'm like, ah, it's all airy. And then there's either a dog barking, the neighbors have the gardeners in, someone's doing work. I can never win. I need to record it like five o'clock in the morning. Then I'll be waking everyone up. <sighs> never mind. It, you'll probably be like, there was no noise bleeding over, but there might have been, so I've just got to be safe. So we're going to see Landorus, we're going to see Incineroar come out. Man, are we getting defiant boosts all over the shop? <laughs> Double boosts. Crazy, crazy man. We're at plus two with Proglia. Is that right? Plus two? Yeah, plus two. So we're sitting pretty nice at the minute. Um, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's fake out the Landorus. And, um, hmm... Do I keep Ivelta in? I mean, Ivelta right now isn't really doing too much. If we could foul play the Landorus, it's likely it could protect, though. Uh, I'm going to bring in Xerneas. I feel like if we get Xerneas out into the field, we can maybe go for a Z Moonblast or Z Geomancy. It can be wild and go for a Z Dazzling Gleam, but there would be no point in doing that, so we'll probably not do that. So let's see, plus two fake out. What's the damage like? Man, it's not bad, is it? Fake out. Ooh, faking out the Perogly. Breaks our sash, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, hmm. Do we go for the ZGMancy here? I feel like it's a good chance because I think uh, a Giga Impact will will get the Landorus for sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. I feel like if we've ever got a time to do it, it could be a good time. The only problem would be the Incineroar having raw, which would not be good. Giga Impact plus two. Bada bing, bada boom, bye bye, Lando. See you later, my friend. Right, I always feel a bit risky going for this Z Geomancy, you know. It's always like, oh, the power herb's just better, isn't it? I think we need better support. We have got the Binette in the back, so it will, it will help us out. It's just getting through this additional turn. It's like doing a, a good old fashioned conventional Geomancy without the power herb. But then getting the Z kind of boost extra for it. So we're just going to see a flare blitz from the incineral. That's fine. Okay, into Xerneas. Not doing too bad damage. And no burn, so we're fine. So let's see what my opponent brings in. We're completely... We've got no buttons to press this next turn. Nothing. Perugly has to recharge. Xerneas has to charge up. Ah, <sighs> oh, and the Whimsicott. Of course the Whimsicott comes in. No! Can you on call a Z Geomancy though? Because it's like it, it is a Z move, right? It is. <laughs> we've literally we go on pressing buttons. There's a Tailwind. Um, I guess one thing we could potentially try and do is uh, protect Xerneas, Taunt, Perugly, depending on what what this this Incineroar does. Then we can stop an on call, I guess. <laughs> Snarl taking us down to plus plus two. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I don't mind that too much. I don't think the Incineral Oh, but we do get the additional boost. So tempting just to fire off another Giga Impact. Plus three. Okay. Uh let's go for the taunt into the Whimsicott. I mean the the worst thing that can happen here is the Whimsicott doesn't encore our Zonius and attacks up her ugly. And then and then we got locked into Encore the following turn. Which wouldn't be ideal. But let's see what our opponent does. I think you probably want to go for the encore, to be honest, into the Xerneas here. When you've got access, you've probably got access to it, right? You've got access to it. Ooh, Incineroar Reveal and Protect. Interesting. Hmm. Fake Tears. Okay, that's fine. Really don't mind that, because now we're in golden land because we've um wherever golden land is but it's a good place and i'm right there right now uh yeah we can go at uh, giga impact do i waste a giga impact do i uh i mean we will we'll just do it anyway and we'll go for a, a, a dazzle yeah 
Because the Dazzle and Giga Impact should be enough to get the Incineroar. But plus three, I mean, with Perugly. We sh still should add speed. Ooh, Grass Knot coming out. Uh, Perugly, can you take it? Come on, Purr. There we go. There we go. We don't miss. Oh, that's good. So, bye-bye, Incineroar. That's great news for us. Okay, what's coming in? Uh, did my opponent have Xerneas? I think they did. I think they had Groudon and Xerneas, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what it is. Like, it's ugly doing all the work and it's melodic, so... Excellent! Everything feels like it's all working. All coming out Millhouse. Um, right. Let's see what we can do. Uh, do we want to protect Xerneas here or do we want to just attack? I mean, they've got one more turn of Tailwind, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, one more turn. I think we, we'll just protect. We'll just protect Xenius. We know the Whimsicott's not got on call, so it's it's kind of fine. Grass Knot, okay, and Scald, okay. Let's yeah, Perugly. Perugly, I I mean MVP all day long. Perugly has done such a good job. Uh, the Tailwind Pit is out. Uh, should we bring in Binet? Binet? Does Binet need to come in? Binet, yeah, let's do it. We very rarely get to see much Binet, so let's do this. I love Mega Binet as well. It's such a cool Mega Pokemon. It's got such a nice design. It really has got one of the nicest designs. Let's Phantom Force this Melotic. I don't know if we'll get it off. We probably, we probably will. And we can always give all the glory to Binet. The next turn, if the Dazzling Gleam doesn't take down this Melotic, we are only plus two, so it won't take the Melotic down. I guess the, uh, the the problem here that we've got to watch out for a little bit is the, the Melotic with Miracord. Because it will be able to crush Xerneas if it has got access to it. Hmm, let's see. Dazzling Gleam. Bye bye, Winnie. Uh, yeah. I mean, Melotic's just a, just a tank, isn't it? Uh, ooh, what is this? What's this berry? Maranga berry. And another scald coming out. Okay. Did we get a burn? No burn. And a phantom force. Okay. Maybe Bennett. We just don't allow Bennett to come back to the field and just moon blast. A moon blast from here will get the melodic. I don't really want it. Um, it might not actually, you know, because of the boost. Boost, boost. Uh, let's see. Oh, does the Maranga Berry activate defense? No, it must. Oh, wow. Look at that. Melotic is a beast. It is a beast, isn't it? Phantom Force, we're going to get an attack off with Binet. So let's see what this does. Wow. That's not even a crit. That isn't even a crit. Binet is just a badass. <laughs> yes, Binet. You know where, where, what the deal is, don't you? Right, good game to Goku. Um, great playing. Our good old Super Saiyan friend. Um, and we'll move straight into our next one. Okay, let's hop over to our right screen. And then we can have a look at our score. See what we're doing. See how we're doing. But I feel like this 1500 is going to be so possible, guys. I'm going to actually not make any changes for this episode. So we'll sit on them. We'll make changes tomorrow for sure. We'll try and use all of the buttons up by the end of the week. Because that will be the ideal thing to do, won't it? So, um, yes. Uh, I don't know which button to activate first though. Wow, I feel like we're, we're in dreamland a little bit. Um, Maxi and Archie? Yeah, let's do it. Um, I've never I've never felt so good about such a low score in my life, but um, things looking things looking pretty good at the minute. Things looking pretty rosy, but I mean we do have we do have some good Pokemon, don't we? I mean Garchomp's always good. Xerneas we know is good. Eveltal. Mega Burnett and Perugly. Perugly is that forgotten about Pokemon doing so much work. Um, we did get pretty lucky in that last one. I mean, my opponent did leave with to double Intimidate, and then they did Snarl Perugly as well. So, yeah. I mean, even if the Whimsicott as well had Encore, we would have been able to shut it down with Perugly, so things have gone good. We've got our next opponent. Looks like he's got a tasty, spicy team, so let's get into team preview. Okay, next opponent today is running a team of Mobile Porygon 2. 
Incineroar, Tapu Bulu, Swampert, and Kyogre. So it looks like we may have a double Mega team here between the, the Mega Mawile and the Mega Swampert. You've got the Tapu Bulu there for terrain control, Intimidate support from the Incineroar, uh, Fake Out support there to help set up the Trick Room for that Porygon too, because outside of the Mega Swampert, you're looking really like this team is heavily reliant on that Trick Room. So we want to make sure that we can shut that down um, as best as possible. Perugly does a really nice job at that. Uh, mm, what else do we what do we want to do here I think um, we probably do need Garchomp for the Mawile um, because outside of the Mawile we don't really have too many ways to hit uh, outside of the Garchomp we don't have too many ways to hit it uh, is Veltal is always going to be a nice option I think just with the Snarl the Foul player the Assault Vest helps against all these special type attackers Um Xerneas gonna be nice again. Um, and do we go Garchomp or Binet? That's the that's the million dollar question, isn't it? I'm gonna go Garchomp. Or do I? Do I? I feel like I'm letting the team down by going Garchomp and not Binet, but uh, Garchomp makes sense. Garchomp makes sense, but Binet makes sense as well in a way. Just to support everything. Mm. It's tough, it's tough. It's always good when you've got a team, I think, where you're really struggling. Well, <laughs> I say, it's good when you're struggling to find that four Pokemon you want to bring every time. It's not really that good. It should be really straightforward for you against the matchups that you you should know inside out. But when you've got teams like this, I mean, it, it, I feel like it's a good thing being a, being struggling, not which Pokemon to pick. The only one that I'm not really ever considering is the Oranguru. It's a little bit sad, but I do love Oranguru, but it just doesn't really suit this team very well. I'm going to see Porygon 2. It's going to download, get that attack boost, and then uh, the type of blue come out as well. Um, hmm. Let's fake out the Porygon 2. And do we have Oblivion Wing? I guess that the the issue here would be if we see the Bulu switch out into Incineroar, and then they've got a pretty seamless fake out trick room the next turn. No, we're not going to see a switch, so that's fine. Uh, Oblivion, we've got access to that taunt the next turn to um, tap into the Tapu. The, the, the Tapu Porygon 2. Of course, there's the Rock Slide from the, the Bulu. Um, wow, jeez. That did a lot of damage. Did way more damage than what I expected it to do. Man. But I mean, we're going to be able to get the Tapu Bulu the next turn, uh, and we have to taunt the Porygon 2. So, we'll go for uh, another Oblivion Wing into the Bulu because if it stays in, we get it. If it switches out, whatever comes in, we get a little bit of health back anyway, which is always going to be helpful um, going forward. We're going to see the Kyogre actually switch in. You've got to imagine that this Porygon 2 is definitely going to go for that Trick Room here to try and set this, this Ogre up. So, Primal Kyogre in the field. Um... Primordial C, yep. And the Oblivion Wing obviously not going to do a great deal of damage, but the main thing is shutting down this Porygon 2, uh, which we get the taunt into the Oblivion Wing. Let's see, damage we can do. I mean, probably, if, I wonder if Foul Play. Hmm, I don't think so. Foul Play and a combination. Um, Got to worry about the Kyogre though. Like a Snarl would be nice. I, I kind of want to target into the the Kyogre to be honest, with a a Giga Impact and a Snarl. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. The damage. I mean, the Kyogre could protect. We're not going to see it protect here. Let's see what the Giga Impact does. Does nice damage. Nice damage. Nice damage. We could have went for the the far play Giga Impact there. The Snarl is going to really help out against both these attackers anyway, because they're primarily always going to be special type attackers. We do see an Origin Pulse come out. Probably will be enough to get the Perugly. Yeah, not enough to get the Veltal though, thankfully. And the Nice Beam coming out. Hopefully that Snarl does help out. Yeah, which it does quite a lot. I'm going to see the Grassy Terrain take effect. Um... Do we, do we, do we bring in Garchomp? Uh, it's, it's a bit, I mean, yeah, I, 
It's not ideal right now with the grassy terrain in effect. I mean, Xerneas is probably the better one to bring in. Um, we could kind of maybe smoke out the Mowile if it comes in. This is why I don't want to go for the, the, the Z. Um, I'm going to go for a Z. Like, I don't want to go Z Geomancy because I think the Mowile comes in. If we do that, then we're locked for the next turn. The Mowile has pretty free time picking off the Xerneas, which you don't want. Just wondering whether a Snarl will be enough to get the Kyogre. Um, whereas an Oblivion Wing would be probably better just to guarantee we get the KO there. And we're not going to KO the Porygon 2 for sure. There's no way we do. Not even with a, a, Z, a Z Moonblast. But I think it makes better use of um, the Z move than... Okay, Tabulu kind of coming back onto the field. I wonder if the Mowile's even being brought. Because it was Swampert, the other Mega, right? Yeah. Porygon 2 is not going to be taunted for that much longer as well. That's the other thing we need to keep in mind. Uh, and that might make things a little bit more difficult for us. Look at Xerneas floating through the sky, doing all the all the stuff. Wow! Holy what! I can't believe it did that much damage, man. That's ridiculous. Wow. Okay. I didn't realize it would do that much damage. <laughs> that is powerful. Foul play coming out from the Porygon too. Unfortunately, not going to do too much damage to us. Does recover a little bit of damage. I think it's a Moonblast range. Taunt wears off now, but we'll be able to pick it up with another Moonblast. Now, what comes in? The Kyogre? No, Mawile. Mawile. Hmm. hmm. Mawile. Mawile this, Mawile that. Uh, okay. Not ideal. Will a foul player get this Porygon too? It did get the attack boost, right? Yeah, I think a foul play off the back of that will be enough. I'm going to switch... Oh, do I switch in Garchomp? Hmm. Do I switch in Garchomp or do I just go Moonblast into the... Hmm. I might just Dazzling Gleam. I don't really want to switch Garchomp in and take a Play Rough or an Iron Head. I think I need to keep... I need to keep Garchomp for later on in the match. Uh, it's kind of important, especially with the grassy terrain going to be running out soon. Mega Mawile going to Mega Evolve. And the thing is, by switching Garchomp in and we take Iron Head damage, it could potentially put us into Sucker Punch range, which I don't really want to um, want to do. So the Dazzling Gleam going to go off first. We're going to pick up the Porygon too. So we'll get at least a far play into this this um, Mawile, which is good. Um, Kyogre's in range from anything. The far player doing nice damage actually there. Rockside coming out. It will take down Yveltal. Um, and yeah, Xerneas coming back in. Okay, well, I mean, it's still fine because Garchomp, Stomping Tantrum should be enough to actually get the Mawile regardless now. Um, and a Moonblast will be enough to get the Kyogre. So we should be able to pick up another victory, which is. Excelente! And that would mean we've done it twice this week where we get two losses. I'm not going to get ahead of ourselves right now because something unbeknownst to myself could go terribly wrong. Uh, although it feels like it's pretty set in stone <laughs> right now. Feels like it's done. Um, but if we can pull off two wins that again this week, I mean the team's done it two days in a, tr in a row now. Let's go for a Moonblast. Let's go for the Stomping Tantrum into the Mawile. Which is, I said, uh, that should be enough. Um, and we should be able to lock this one up. The Z Moonblast, way better. Way better than that Z Geomancy, isn't it? Kyogre going to protect this turn. Hopefully, hoping the, Ma the Mowile will be able to do something. Hopefully, this is enough. Um, yeah. You know when you, you think, it's definitely enough. If you asked me that a million times over, I'd be like, yeah. But when you're in that situation where you're like, huh. There's the doubt starts creeping into your mind because it's so pivotal that you pick up that knockout. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do this, but I always do. I'm like, hmm, is that actually enough? Like Kyogre now, is stop a tantrum enough to get the Kyogre now? You know for a fact it is, but there's always that doubt where you're like, hmm, maybe it survives. There's no way it survives. No way. But very good game to my opponent. Great couple of games today. Your team just doing so much work. It's uh, it's 
it's refreshing. I'm really having a great time. I hope you are as well. Um, I think tomorrow we'll activate at least a couple, if not three, three bonus buttons because we've only got two days left with this team. So mixing things up for the end of the week might be nice. Um, and remember guys, those of you who have stuck to the end, there is this giveaway for this lovely hat this week. So all you need to do is leave a comment down below, leave a like and you'll be entered into the draw that we will do on Monday next week, revealing the winner of this lovely hat. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode and I'll look forward to catching up with you all on our next one very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.